Hey guys, what's up? So this week was a pretty busy one. We had an MLRS and HIMARS class, which I'll explain later. We had a 12 mile ruck march. We had two JFO briefs. We had an FDC sim. We had uh, some prep for the safety test. Overall, it was, it was a busy week. So MLRS and HIMARS. MLRS and HIMARS are two field artillery systems that shoot rockets and missiles. They're kind of similar to field artillery, you know, normal field artillery cannons, but they're also very different. That being said, if you know how to work field artillery cannons, it seems like it's a little easier to work the rockets and missiles. So here at Bullock, we only have like two or three days of class on them. And I think if you go to a, a rocket or missile unit, then I think you have another quick course that you go to to prepare yourself. So yeah, we had a full day of class on those, and then we actually had a test on it at the end of the day. But the test wasn't hard. I don't think anybody failed, and I know a lot of people got hundreds, so really wasn't anything to worry about. This week we also had two more JFO sim quizzes, briefs, things. Again, they weren't, you know, they're really not that bad. They're they're definitely different than anything you really do in field artillery before, or in Bullock before that, but they're really not that hard. There's more wiggle room than there is in anything else in Bullock. You know, gunnery is very, you're either right or wrong. A lot of field artillery, like a lot of uh, fire support that we did before was more right or wrong-ish, kind of, but it was very easy to lose points on stuff if you weren't very direct about things, but this, not so much. Again, it's more of a conversation. And it's really not that bad. We also had our second of three FDC sims. FDC is the fire direction center, basically where you do all the math and calculations and stuff for where you want a round to land. And this one was definitely harder than the first one. Every time you go to the sim, well at least the first few times you go to the sim, there's one ungraded round and then there's three graded rounds. But the only person getting graded is whoever's the FDO, the fire direction officer, for that round. And I was the ungraded round for my group. And it was definitely a learning experience. It was, it was pretty difficult. It was, it was on topics that we kind of blew over in class. Like we got through it pretty quickly. So it was a learning experience. And it's good that there's an ungraded round because then the graded rounds, you know, obviously you'd learn, you get better throughout the day. So if you're being, if you doing an FTC sim, you want to be like the last or second last graded round so you can learn from other people's mistakes throughout the day. And apparently the next sim is even harder than this past one and of course that's the one that I'm getting graded on. Yesterday, actually Saturday, we had a 12 mile ruck march. So while you're here at Field Artillery Bullock, you have to complete a 12 mile ruck march with a, at least a 45 pound rucksack and an LBV or flake, like you know the little vest thing, not the bulletproof one, but if you're in the military, you know what I'm talking about. And a dummy rifle. So, but it's, it's really not that hard. You, all, you just have to do 12 hours within five, no, I'm sorry, 12 miles within five hours. Really not that bad. Personally, you know, I was just striding it out and I jogged downhills and I finished well under three hours. So it's, it's really not that bad. It's a little different for Ranger PT though. They have to do 15 miles in three hours and 45 minutes. So again, not that bad, but that one's definitely tougher. Finally, we had safety practical exercise. The safety test is next week. So this next week is actually gonna be pretty busy and stressful because we have some classes on kind of random stuff early in the week and then we have the safety test which is going to be really stressful for some people because we had the PE and I did pretty well on it. I'm, I'm not really worried about the safety test but there's a lot of people who did not do well on it at all and you know they're kind of not freaking out but they, they're, they're worried about it for sure because again if you fail a safety test you have to start bullock all over again. That means you have to stay in Lawton for you know, at least six more months. And even if you make it through Bullock the second time, you, you get a marginal, marginal graduation or whatever. I don't know. Not good. And then next week, uh, right after the safety test, we go to the field for a few days. So it's going to be, it's going to be a busy week. And then the week after that is even more chaotic. So really the, the last, it seems like the last month or so of Bullock is very like, you know, boom, 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 get this done, 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 done. And then, you know, graduate and leave. It's very, <laughs> very fast paced. But anyway, yeah, that was this week. So pretty good week. Nothing too crazy, but things are definitely going to be picking up in the next two weeks. But anyways, that's all I've got for this week, guys. So till next time, keep going.